This example is a follow-up of our last program, the Passcode Validator. Uh, I just want to show you a couple of more things about arrays. Uh, in particular, I want to look at a ranged base for loop. Um, so normally our for loop looks like this, where we, where we have a beginning, uh, int i equals zero, uh, a stopping point where i is less than um, the maximum size where we want to stop, and then an iterator, uh, i plus plus, um, to get there by steps of, in this case, one. Uh, so in this case, I want to do it a little bit different, what a range base loop looks like. Uh, we'll change a little bit of the code here. And so we'll still have the int i. And we'll just use a colon to separate everything. And essentially, we're going to put the array name. Uh, remember, our array, array is called code. Uh, we're going to put code here so that it will automatically iterate uh, through every element of the array. And each time through, it's actually going to assign uh, each element of the array to that i variable. So we need to make another, a, a couple more changes uh, in here. Uh, instead of um, using the assert, uh, i is obviously going to be uh, a different meaning now. Uh, so we don't want to evaluate it uh, using that assert statement. And we also need a change here for code sub i. Instead of code sub i, it's just going to be i. Okay, and then the same thing uh, down here. Uh, we need to just change that to i. Um, and so each time through the loop, uh, it will um, check each uh, one of these numbers. Okay, and so remember this code down here is not really for the operation of the, the program itself to run properly is just for testing so we can see if we get our incorrect value that it still lists out uh, all the correct values. So let's run this and see what it does. Okay and so we enter our security code. I want to get it wrong so I'm going to just put in some twos here and hit enter and, and notice it lists out it, it iterated through every element uh, of the array kind of automatically it went through the whole range. So that's what we call this, a ranged uh, base for loop. And it's used uh, primarily with arrays like this to say we want to process every element uh, of the array. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, get rid of the pound include statement for the, for the assert. And uh, we also don't need uh, to declare the max size because we're not using that to determine when the end of the loop is anymore. Uh, we're actually just iterating based on the array itself. Um, so that, that kind of cleans that up a little bit uh, and makes it a lot less error prone. If you imagine now if we go in and we add uh, another element in the array here, uh, this is going to process it automatically. So we don't really have to worry about uh, setting that constant uh, value uh, like we were before like this to say, hey, the array size, right? Um, one other thing we can do here that I want to introduce, um, one, one possible other place to make an error here is this int i um, for the array should match, right, the data type of the elements. Uh, so one way to kind of foolproof that uh, is we can use the auto keyword, uh, and auto is just a signal to the compiler to say, you pick the data type, okay? And so our compiler will, based on um, the code uh, array being an integer, will automatically make i an integer based on that, okay? And so uh, if you could imagine, uh, I could declare, uh, you can use it this way, so I could say auto x, uh, and initialize it to 2, uh, and the compiler would recognize 2 as an integer and make that an integer declaration, uh, I recommend against that. Uh, the only place I really see a use for auto is in this range-based loop, range-based for loop. Uh, it makes sense to use auto i uh, to make sure that matches whatever uh, the array type is. Okay, so let's run this one more time. And I'll compile and run this.
And this time I'll enter a valid code. And it works the way we intend for it to work. So just a couple of new um, interesting features about arrays that might make your coding a little bit more efficient. Uh, so hopefully that helps you out and gives you a few more uh, tools in your programming tool belt.